Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the McGee Bluebird MK3. Anyways, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Hey, isn't that an MK2? And sure enough, this is a definite clone of the, of course, popular Dart Zone MK2. So I just kind of want to throw that out there. We ended up opting for the white as well as the blue version. There are a couple different colors, which is one of the reasons why I picked this up because I was like, is this on par with the Dart Zone MK2? And also I really dig the colors because if you guys already know on the original MK2, they did have an orange version of this, which kind of the Walmart special version, but that's kind of hard to get. But I always wanted to add in our kind of Xbox uh, little kit here that we sell on our Etsy store. And we figured, you know what? Those things will look cool on a blue version or a white version or the other versions that they had. So this is gonna be more a comparison video just to see how well it stacks up to the actual clone or the actual original version, just to see, again, if it's worth your money because I was seeing these ads everywhere. So let's just hop right in and take a look at the box. Again, my box says Bluebird McGee. I mean, okay, there's nothing on the box it really tells you or maybe on the back. It, that, I, let's just look at the box. You can see, got the instructions got the actual blaster you got two of those quick loaders as well as a quick loader magazine as well as a bunch or 18 of the uh, kind of hard tip darts so nothing too crazy like i always say when it comes to the box now the blasters themselves i mean to be honest they're they feel heavier than the actual original which i was like okay that's kind of weird i was thinking it was going to be something lighter so it doesn't feel that bad in your hands and it is almost spot on guys. And that's what we're gonna do really quick here is compare the accessories that come along with this particular blaster, the MK3 against the MK2. So the thing to note here, first off guys, is the original kind of muzzle that came with the MK2 does not come with the MK3. So it looks cool, I mean, right? But it does not come along with this. So I was like, all right, no big deal, whatever you wanna call it, the muzzle, belt clip, I, whatever you guys wanna call this thing but I still think it looks cool and it fits directly on either of these blasters with absolutely no problem and it locks in just as good. So I kind of wanted to throw that out there. When it comes to the kind of the belt holder that holds the extra quick loaders, they look identical, except the original is a little bit darker. It still uses that flexi material. I mean, if I drop both these on the ground, I would almost have a very difficult time identifying which one is which. And the actual quick magazines are identical as well, except of course the other ones are red and these ones are a light gray, but they function the exact same way, have the same clips and thumb neck, every, everything is the same. And you could see here that, yeah, they slide, both of them slide in and out of either or of the magazines. Uh, quick holders, perfectly fine. Now the uh, MK3 does not come with the, um, the holster here, but you can holster this thing inside the original MK2 holster absolutely fine have no actual no actual problems it actually fits i feel like a little bit better maybe than the original so yeah you can see that there you guys can see it here absolutely no problem fitting that in there so if you do have an mk2 you shouldn't have any issues using the uh accessories that come along with the mk2 that didn't come along with this now let's just take a look at these things in the hand here <sighs> you know the plastic on this is i feel like it's a little bit thicker than the plastic that is used on the mk2 uh, the grips are definitely something different. It's kind of like this weird triangle honeycomb. It feels really good. Way, way better than the MK2s. I'm going to give you that. Um, and just the overall look. I like the I like these additional colors, like this blue and this white. The red is cool, but man, I really like these additional colors. So in the hands, yeah, it feels really good. Now, with this, the darts that come along with it, they give you 18 of those standard darts you're seeing that, that are coming along with these kind of off-brand uh, foam blasters where they have that almost like a hard plastic tip where you do not want to shoot somebody or a TV, a piece of glass, because it is a hard tip. I feel like it will crack it. Now, what's crazy is typically I always get a little bit better performance when I use like a Dart Zone Pro Dart or a Adventure Force Pro Dart, but these uh, actually you'll see here kept up the same. I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Now, I want to throw this up here. Some of you guys are like, okay, well, how does it shoot? How what's the FPS compared to the original? So the original Dart Zone MK2 shot around 120 to 125 FPS. That's what we shot, and it shot phenomenal. These are shooting right about the 90 to 95 FPS mark with the included darts that came along with it or the actual Dart Zone Pro darts. I always thought we were going to get a little more, but with these, they must have a tighter bore or something. So, yeah, it is, uh, it is definitely not as 
fast as the MK2. Now they do have a spring upgrade kit for this, which we did order, and we're gonna see how well that kind of bumps it up. I'm guessing that the spring inside the MK2 is a little bit harder, a little bit stronger than the, uh, the springs that come along with this. So let's hop in and take a look at me shooting this thing. So here you go, I mean, nothing new. It's just, it's pretty much shooting an MK2, but a little bit, uh, a, a little bit not as, not as fast, right? A little bit slower, but you can hear the darts. If you hear him hit the door, it has that real hard plastic hitting sound. Um, again, do I would not shoot at anybody. You hit someone in the eye, the face, it is gonna leave a bruise comparison to the small uh, you know, rubber end that you typically see with most things. But um, I noticed that when I got these also, the first couple shots out of it, it looked like there was quite a bit of uh, kind of like grease or lube on the dart as well as in the barrel. So just kind of wipe some of that out. There was an excessive amount in both. So I wiped it out and I was able to get a little more shots. But again, the shooting guys, it's nothing too crazy here, right? It's just, it's just your standard MK2, uh, but shooting just a little bit slower. Now, overall guys, you know, for how much they're selling these things for, it's about half the cost of an MK2. And I get it, it is a clone, I, I get it. But I wanted to get these because of the color. That is one of the biggest reasons why I got these. And for, you know, the price that they are, I was thinking, you know what? If I can order a, I think the spring is about six bucks. If I can get a spring and shoot the same as an MK2, but get this sweet color and be able to throw the uh, the kits on here, my, my kind of uh, MK2 kits, I was like, oh yeah, that's gonna look sick if you put a blue, a green, a yellow, something like that on there. I was like, and you know what? Yeah, okay. But yeah, in the hands, this is definitely lighter. It is a lot lighter and it's like, I don't know if you guys can hear that, it's kind of shaky. This one has nothing shaking. So I'm gonna see, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check this thing out. I'm gonna throw the upgraded spring in there, which we have coming. See if I can get it up to the 120 FPS mark. Then maybe throw one of my uh, Xbox MK2 kits on here to kind of see how it will look. But I mean, that's, I mean, that's my take on it, guys. I mean, I didn't want to dig in too deep because you guys, I mean, we've seen a thousand and one videos on an MK2 and this is pretty much identical. It just shoots a little bit slower without some of the key accessories that you get with an MK2 at half the cost. Um, but yeah, overall, I like it. It's cheap, it looks great. I'm gonna throw some of my kits on here to see how they look. We are definitely gonna upgrade the spring, but that's my two cents. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys ordered some of these. I know they're a little bit harder to get now, but again, we picked up a few of these and actually have a few more coming because we do want to tweak these. But let me know if you guys pick these up and what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks again, Fox fans.